me to what have happened. There yeah, you yeah. are. Here I am. And as Shakiris pointed be, out after watching a group of teenagers perform Ooh. recently, maybe the real it factor Ooh. is luck. I was spending a lot of time in London, and I went to one of the drama schools, the, the graduation performance. They did a musical called Little Me, a great musical. Every young person in that cast was so wonderful. And I remember thinking to myself, who in this group is going to get lucky? Because you have to get lucky, too. Whether I go for the girls, though, you know. Side by side or face to face, James Dean and Paul Newman appear together in this 1954 screen test for the movie East of Eden. Dean would get the role, but it was Newman who got the longevity. As long as there have been movies, there have been screen tests. Here's Charlie Chaplin giving actress Georgia Hale a tryout for his classic film, City Lights. That was in 1929. So was this test with a young Marlena Dietrich. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my stew. Watch what happens when the piano player fumbles. Nearly half a century later, a then unknown John Travolta auditioned for TV's Welcome Back, Cotter. Hi, who are you? I'm Barberini. Barberini, of course, would become Barberino. And John Travolta would become a superstar. <laughs> and that brings us to Dustin Hoffman. He was already famous when he put on a dress for this 1981 screen test for the movie Tootsie. And a little too short. Oh, well, I'm not even wearing heels. As you can see, he really wanted the role. And as we all know, he was kind of a natural. Taxi! Taxi! Taxi!
One Hollywood art form is all about face, much to the benefit of stars like Rami Malek in the running tonight for Best Actor. A standout performance, Lee Cowan tells us, with standout teeth. Somebody love! It seems trite, given his extraordinary musical talent, to focus on Freddie Mercury's teeth. But if you're going to make a movie about Queen's legendary frontman, that overbite can't be underestimated. I was born with four additional incisors. Most face in my mouth means more rain. Thank you. On the red carpet, actor Rami Malek looks nothing like Mercury, but his portrayal in Bohemian Rhapsody is so spot on, it's already earned him a Golden Globe, a SAG, and a BAFTA. At times, it's hard to tell them apart. That's Malik on the left, that's the real Freddie Mercury on the right. But look, Malik admits, wouldn't have worked without the man behind that mouth. It's the biggest tooth movie I've ever worked on. <laughs> Maybe put a bit more His name is Chris Lyons, well. a dental technician by trade. I think we should increase the... Increase he does the real dental work for real people yeah, at his offices nice. outside London. But he has a side business called Fangs FX. They're from the Wolfman. Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> He's helped monsters and those monstrously famous. Hold he head. gave Meryl oh. Streep a set of Margaret Thatcher teeth. And take pride in being British. <laughs> you kill him and let me live. Tilda Swinton got a mouthful of his work too. Thank you. And he helped John Lithgow get those Winston Churchill-like jowls. He created these two little blobs that clicked onto my back teeth that just swelled my face, but also changed my, my diction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when asked to recreate Freddie Mercury's teeth, all right, all right. Lyons worried he may have bitten off more than he could chew. When the offer first came to you, it's pretty daunting. In this particular case, out of all the teeth you've done, because these are almost like a character. It's an iconic set of teeth for an iconic character from an iconic band. I just love them. <laughs> Everybody knows Freddie's teeth. And yes, I was very worried. Under pressure. As the story goes, Mercury didn't want to change his teeth Under pressure. because he feared it might change the sound of his voice. Pressure. Hey, Freddie, your teeth. Hey, why don't you get your teeth fixed? I live in Britain. I don't want to stand out. It's roughly the size, almost Lions the size of Lions started Freddy's. off making a set of incisors the same size as Mercury's. And when you put that in Rami, it was just too much. Yeah, it was too ludicrous. It just became a total caricature. So Lions kept scaling them back. His real teeth end there, mm -hmm. and then we brought them down this much. These two are the actual teeth uh, Rami wore. Uh, he has one the teeth, however, were the only the first bite in a transformation that makeup artist Jan Sewell and prosthetic designer Marc Coulier mm -hmm. had to finish. What can you do to it? It doesn't look like anything like Freddie Mercury, really. Right. So you just then have to dial all that back and then choose something that's going to just enhance or create an essence of. But creating that essence of Freddie Mercury would also involve a bit of a nose job for Malik. Sing it! Remy's got a, a, an indent here, and Freddie's got, you know, an a, 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 a aquiline nose yeah. shape across here. So we just thought we'll try that and see if that works, you know. It did. That's Malik again on the left, and the real Freddie Mercury on the right. Okay, well, that's great. Malik's Freddie like nose was sculpted here at Coulier Creatures FX, a macabre place where disembodied heads stare back at you from almost every angle. We did a face cast of Rami, but we also did this uh, 3D print of his head so that when we sculpt the piece, we know it's gonna fit in with his eyebrows. Love of my life, can't you then there was that body hair that Mercury often showed off, starting with that ultra thin 80s mustache of his. As you can see, it's it's fine, 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 and it's on a fine lace. Each hair is individually knotted on this extremely fine lace. And did you do the 
the chest hair too? Yeah, because he was just not quite as hairy as Freddie. Even underarm hair. No, that's all his. He's, <laughs> he's, he can take credit for all of that. <laughs> when the final look all came together, the likeness was almost eerie. He didn't come out as Rami, then go into Freddy. He stomped out as Freddy, and it was just like, oh my God, this is really gonna work. I think we've cracked it, I think. There's no Oscar for best supporting T, but another big win for Rami Malek tonight. Will undoubtedly leave him all smiles. Real news every morning on CBS This Morning.